An Earth-like planet has been found, and in space terms, it's basically just next door. Uh, this new planet is called Proxima b, and that's because it was found orbiting the star known as Proxima Centauri, which in space terms is basically just next door. It's the star next to our sun. But they have come up with some ideas of what it might look like. Uh, this planet is about 1.3 times the size of Earth, so a little bit bigger, but not too, too much bigger. It's a lot closer to its uh, star than we are to the sun, but its star is smaller and dimmer. But where is this newly discovered planet? In a constellation called Centaurus, there's um, a, a series of stars called uh, Alpha Centauri, and a little bit closer to us than Alpha Centauri is Proxima Centauri, mm -hmm. which is a red dwarf. It's a very small planet with a red glow, and it's about four light years away from us. That's a long way. Which is, it's a reasonably long way, but it's the closest, by far the closest star. Mm -hmm. Because, and this is where it's a dream come true, it looks like it could be habitable. It looks like it could contain liquid water. And water is only in a liquid form in a 100 degree range, from zero to 100 degrees on Earth. This planet looks like it's <laughs> rocky. It looks like it's about um, uh, 7 million kilometers from its sun, which makes it a perfect zone for the heat of its sun to be habitable, to have water, to have an atmosphere. Well, the closest planet to Earth outside our solar system may not be as suitable to live as scientists once thought. Uh, recently, a large and deadly flare was seen emanating from Proxima b. Well, Proxima Centauri, as you indicated, is the closest star to the Earth, and it has a planet orbiting around Proxima Centauri b. Uh, Proxima Centauri itself is a part of a, a category of star that is very, very common in the Milky Way galaxy. It's what we call a red dwarf. And as a consequence, it's become a real focal point, that type of star, to look for planets and thus to look for life, the signs of life uh, that could exist there. The problem with red dwarf stars is that they are notoriously unstable in terms of the amount of flare activity. And the flares, of course, can be deadly. It's like the coronal mass ejections that we sometimes experience here on Earth. Those sorts of stars can give off very harsh radiation and you and I wouldn't survive them very well. So that brings into question whether or not the life that could exist on Proxima Centauri B, whether it could survive. So we're looking at these types of environments with greater scrutiny to see, you know, really what is the chance of life existing on these types of planets. Tonight, we are talking about something that only one of the brightest minds in mathematics could have even conceived of. If you're following stuff about aliens and about UFOs and what US lawmakers are saying about all of this, that if they do exist, they have come from some other planet. But instead of just asking where they come from, do you think we should be asking when? Now we have hours of videotape from the United States Navy. We can measure the data from these videotapes. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. More mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. And all these little dots are stars? All these little dots are galaxies, uh, some of which are bigger than our own. Breaking news. We may have just found potential evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth. This is a huge discovery, and we think that it's a huge discovery. And that's the most exciting piece of this, of this telescope, of this remarkable instrument we put in space, is finding things that we didn't expect, that we can't explain, because that means that we have to revise our understanding of the universe. Well, JWST is so phenomenal that if you spend enough time, you could probably find any galaxy that ever formed uh, in the universe. It's really that powerful. The James Webb Space Telescope keeps giving us important new insights on the evolution of the universe. This $1 billion telescope has recently achieved an astronomical milestone by capturing the most detailed image of Proxima b, an exoplanet located in the habitable zone of our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. What mystery lies in this distant world? Is it capable of supporting life? Let's have a look into what the James Webb Telescope just revealed. Hello everyone, welcome back to Envision Space. Let's dive into the video. Launched on December 18th, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful and advanced space telescope ever built. A joint project by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, 
The James Webb Telescope is designed to explore the universe in infrared wavelengths, providing unprecedented clarity and sensitivity. Equipped with a 6.5 primary mirror, the telescope is positioned at the second Lagrange point, allowing it to observe the cosmos with minimal interference from Earth's atmosphere. Because that's where life as we know it has the highest chance of emerging. Astronomers are especially interested in the habitable zone surrounding stars. Thus, it should come as no surprise that Proxima b, the name we give to our nearest known exoplanet, pinks the intense interest of astronomers. Proxima b, discovered in 2016, orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star located just over four light years away from our solar system. What makes Proxima b interesting is its location within the habitable zone, a region where conditions may be suitable for liquid water to exist a key ingredient for life as we know it. The exoplanet's potential habitability has spurred interest among astronomers, making it a prime target for the James Webb Space Telescope's observational capabilities. Proxima Centauri b, Earth's cousin, is not just any ordinary rock. This planet is a mystery and a wonder. Could it be another Earth, complete with seas and many kinds of life? There's more though. Proxima Centauri b is not alone in its journey around the red dwarf star. Proxima Centauri c, a super-Earth, is one of its fellow travelers, and who knows what else this stellar system could be hiding. Maybe another companion that we haven't yet found. But wait, there are still more mysteries to solve. Proxima Centauri b is very similar in size to Earth, with a mass of 1.17 Earth masses. It orbits its star in only 11.2 days, in contrast to our Earth's year-long orbit around our Sun. That means Proxima Centauri b is a lot closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. But because the star is a red dwarf, much smaller and cooler than our Sun, its orbit is indeed within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. Surprisingly, Proxima Centauri b receives about the same amount of solar energy from its star that Earth does from our Sun. Does this indicate that there is water, possibly even life, on its surface? We find a whole new world of exoplanets when we travel outside of our solar system. Let's continue our discussion on Proxima Centauri b, the star that orbits the red dwarf Proxima Centauri and is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. The closest star system to our own solar system is formed by Regal Centaurus, also known as Centauri A, Tolyman, also known as Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri, also known as Centauri C. With a peak amplitude of minus 0.27, the two stars Regal Centaurus and Tolyman, which are part of the binary known as Alpha Centauri AB, appear as a single star within the Centaurus constellation. They rank third and brightest in our night sky. Let's now focus on Proxima Centauri, sometimes referred to as Alpha Centauri C. The distance between this red dwarf star, also known as an M-type star, and the other two stars is 0.21 light years, or around 13,000 times that of the Earth to the Sun. It is also the nearest star to us. Proxima Centauri, which means the nearest star to the Centaurus in Latin, was actually discovered in 1915 by none other than Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Aiton Innes. Even though it's the closest star to us, we are unable to see it with our bare eyes. It has an apparent magnitude of 11.13. Proxima Centauri is still a fascinating star. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient in terms of energy production. Their internal convection process keeps them glowing for millions of years, even though they don't generate much energy. Proxima Centauri will actually continue to exist as a main sequence star for a further 4 trillion years. Nonetheless, there is still ongoing debate on the habitability of a red dwarf star such as Proxima Centauri. It is a flare star, which implies that its fluctuations are frequent and unpredictable. And because it is a low-mass star, 
its habitable zone would be closer to that than that of the Sun. Although not as habitable as it might seem, estimated to be between 0.023 and 0.054 AU, it might seem like a promising planet, but don't let its appearance deceive you. Indeed, the distance between it and its star is the same as ours from the Sun, but there is something more to it. Proxima b receives hundreds of times more intense ultraviolet radiation from its Sun than we do from our own. Yes, it is extremely strong, destroying not just nitrogen and oxygen molecules, but even the smallest hydrogen molecules. Furthermore, just because a planet is at the right distance from its star doesn't mean it can support life. It's possible that Proxima b lacks the right atmosphere, which is necessary to maintain a climate essential for regulating climate and supporting a water-friendly surface. Without it, life would be all but impossible since living things would be exposed to hazardous space weather. Therefore, despite Proxima b's surface resembling Earth, some scientists believe that it is not capable of supporting life. There are still some people who have hopes in discovering the truth about Proxima b, despite the fact that many elements make it unlivable. One instrument that has captured the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope released a high-resolution image of Proxima b, capturing unprecedented details of the exoplanet's surface features, atmosphere, and overall composition. This achievement was made possible by the telescope's advanced instruments, including the near-infrared camera and the mid-infrared instrument, which can peer through cosmic dust clouds and provide a clearer view of distant celestial bodies. The newly unveiled image of Proxima b holds immense scientific significance. Astronomers can now analyze the planet's atmospheric composition, identify potential biomarkers, and study its climate patterns. The data gathered from this observation will contribute to our understanding of exoplanetary atmospheres and enhance our ability to assess the potential habitability of distant worlds. Although there was some information available to scientists regarding the magnetic field characteristics around nearby stars, they were unaware of the specific surroundings of Proxima Centauri until now. Thanks to a recent study using the James Webb Space Telescope, we now know more about the star's solar wind and the dire situation on Proxima b. According to the study, the planet receives nearly 1,000 times the solar wind radiation that Earth does, which means that strong flares might endanger any possible life. Also, the April 2021 Proxima Centauri flare was 100 times more powerful than any solar flare ever recorded. Without specialized shelter, it's difficult to imagine life enduring such high radiation levels. Although the concept of a livable planet circling Proxima Centauri is intriguing, the actual situation appears to be far from friendly. We have always been fascinated by the idea of coming into contact with extraterrestrial life as humans. And when a strange signal from the Alpha Centauri system was found in late 2020, that excitement reached new heights. Interestingly, this signal has an odd frequency reading of 982.551 by a manufactured piece of equipment. Finding extraterrestrial life on the closest planet to our solar system might not be as unlikely as previously believed. Groundbreaking projects are investigating the potential to reduce travel times from hundreds of years to only a few decades. Current technology may be able to overcome the difficulty of accelerating an object as its mass grows, especially when it gets closer to the speed of light. Even though Alpha Centauri is the nearest star system to Earth, reaching it would take 6,000 years using present technology. The Starshot project is exploring the possibility of using lasers to accelerate a spacecraft towards Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to Earth. The main challenge, though, is the Earth's atmosphere, which distorts lasers and incoming light and makes it challenging to apply the force required to move a spacecraft forward. Much more potent lasers on the ground would be able to keep a close focus on the space mission, 
thanks to small lasers mounted on satellites that would evaluate atmospheric impacts in real time to send out the vessel at any given time. The required lasers need an astounding 100 gigawatt of power, which is equal to the total US electricity usage. But the lasers only need to operate for 10 minutes at full power. They plan to employ 100 million lasers to distribute the electricity across an area of 1 kilometer squared. The Starshot's team is determined to push the boundaries of space exploration. When the lasers are switched off, the objects racing through space will be traveling at 20% of the speed of light. This spacecraft could reach Alpha Centauri in about 22 years, with a diameter of a little over 10 meters. But it might be significantly slowed down by the Sun's gravitational pull and interstellar debris. It will take four more years for the spacecraft's signals to reach Earth. Even if they make it to Alpha Centauri, the interesting thing about this idea is that additional probes can be sent for a reasonable price once the launch system is in place. Sending a group of probes into nearby star systems greatly increases the likelihood of obtaining a sight of any planets like Earth. Once humankind reaches Proxima Centauri, there would be a whole star system to discover. How many more planets similar to ours are there? Our universe is full of exoplanets that are just waiting to be found. These planets vary greatly in size and shape. Some are enormous gas giants, while others have features similar to Earth. But what do we know about them? Astronomers are particularly interested in studying gas giant exoplanets. These planets are somewhat larger than Jupiter and Saturn, yet they have similar compositions. These enormous objects, which exceed even the largest planet in our solar system, have been nicknamed Super Jupiters. The first confirmed finding of the planets orbiting a particular kind of neutron star, known as a pulsar, was made by scientists in 1992. The first planet discovered orbiting a star like the Sun was discovered in 1995. Since then, numerous other planets, including several Earth-sized ones, have been found using the Kepler Space Observatory and research conducted on Earth. But that is only the very beginning. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson reassured us that this finding marks a new age in science offering a fresh perspective on the cosmos and creating excitement among scientists worldwide. With every new finding, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to add pieces to the enormous puzzle of our universe's history. By capturing breathtaking pictures of stars, galaxies, and cosmic dust, it is amazing to know that Proxima Centauri b is now the closest confirmed world. Its proximity to our own solar system and potential habitability raise interesting questions. For us, it's an important step in the search for habitable planets beyond Earth. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. This is Envision Space, signing off.